Hi, I'm Robin Williams and welcome to The City. For the next 13 weeks, we will showcase everything the City of Greater Dandenong has to offer. Its huge diversity of cultures and personalities, its community events, its premier sporting events, key developments and council services, and of course, its unique history and colourful heritage. On tonight's show, we'll have a sneak preview of the new $20 million Noble Park Aquatic Centre, go back in time to a Springvale icon, get into the Christmas spirit, and check out what's been happening in one of Victoria's largest municipalities. As I mentioned before, Dandenong has indeed enjoyed a colourful history. We're here at Heritage Hill, which comprises three historic buildings going all the way back to 1864. I'm standing in front of Benga House, which was home to Dr Hart and his family from 1936 until 1987. With the assistance of a grant from Heritage Victoria, the original maids' quarters in Benga House have been brought back to life just as they were in 1936. The public will have access to these rooms through an audio tour, period display rooms and printed material. The new display was opened recently by the then Mayor of City of Greater Dandenong, Councillor Ros Blades. It's a great pleasure that I'm here to officially uh, open the new maids quarters at Benga House. Benga was the largest and most expensive house built in the Shire of Dandenong during the mid-1930s. Visitors will be able to listen to original recordings from Mrs Dorothy Hart, owner of Benga House, and several of her maids as they describe life at Benga between 1940 and 1970. But we did even better than a recording. We caught up with Elsie Schilling, who worked as a maid at Benga House from 1939 until 1943, and was back in her old quarters after nearly 70 years. I was very pleased to be here soon enough to see everything put, put up as it was in those days. Dorothy Hart took great pride in her abilities as a cook and was careful to leave nothing to waste. What wasn't used fresh was converted into a supply of preserves, pickles, jams, jellies and dried produce to last the whole year. The display brought back vivid memories of Elsie's daily routine. Uh, getting up early in the morning and getting breakfast ready and uh, having to clean out the fireplace and red ochre it and uh, uh, set up for the night and then get breakfast ready and then lunch and dinner. The food was simple and uh, wasn't very extravagant and uh, the housework was a couple of long hours but we had Wednesday afternoon off and every other Sunday from 7 in the morning to 7 at night. No other staff, only the, the woman that done the washing and Mrs. Susha. She done the washing about Monday. No other staff. Elsie obviously enjoyed her time with Dr. Hart and his family. They were very nice people and very easy to work for and um, we never had any trouble. And who better to ask about the accuracy of the display? Is it authentic, Elsie? Um, yes, a lot of it is, yes. The pantry looks very much like the same. Had all those silver cups in there that uh, he had won and uh, had to clean them every Saturday and uh, all the silverware. And uh, so it looked very much the same. Uh, the kitchen was, I think, they've made smaller. The kitchen was larger than what it is today, but very much the same. The stove looks the same, and the uh, sink's the same, and uh, everything seems to be the same. The room that I had looks very much the same, and uh, the uh, I had a white, a green uniform with a white apron and white cap and brown shoes. And you could wear your slippers or your after breakfast and then you had to change into your shoes. But everything, you had to clean the plate at the front of the, the gate. And everything's much the same. Because they built onto it since I was here. 
I built on Mrs. Langley's rooms since I was here. It was, wasn't built then. I have enjoyed today very much seeing everything, seeing old faces and people I knew back then, and it's been a pleasure being here. It's my very great pleasure to declare the maids' quarters at Heritage Hill officially open. Thank you all very much. To visit the Maids Quarters at Benga House or other Heritage Hill attractions, check out the opening times at www.heritagehill.com.au And speaking of history, for 140 years the Dandenong Show has been a must-see for country and city dwellers alike. The 2011 show was again a huge success with more than 20,000 visitors enjoying the show's many attractions over two days in November. The show jumping events were again popular, with horses and riders of all sizes enjoying the fun. Right, they gallop up now, they've got to come back in a bend, turn round the bottom, go back in a bend. Oh, oh Astro boy was lucky. Who's going to get across the line first? Oh, me! And some family legends were made in the produce hall. Obviously a tough job for the judges again. Auntie Marge continues to wow them with her famous quilts. Anyone from Akano? Tractor, truck and car enthusiasts were also catered for with an impressive display of modern and vintage vehicles. But the kids' minds were probably on more important things like rides, games, food, prizes, some show bags, more rides and more food, and maybe some bubbles. Hang on, they look familiar. And of course, it's no show without Punch and, uh, and Judy. Oh, that was a nasty dog, wasn't it, boys and girls? Yeah. Yeah. It looked like a lot of fun, and it was. All you had to remember was where you parked the car. If you missed it, put the Dandenong Show in your calendar for November next year. Coming up after the break, Daryl Pittman checks out the progress on the magnificent new Noble Park Aquatic Centre. More than just a pool, Ron. More than just a pool, Daryl. Yeah.